Hi friends, this is Tony from Historic American Homes. Welcome to Quick Tips. These are short videos under 10 minutes where I look at simple ways to get quick results that make your SketchUp model sparkle. I'll be adding to this series on a weekly basis. So if you found this useful, please like, subscribe, and click on the little bell to get notifications each time I put out a new one. You might also want to check out the series I'm doing right now, creating a small home inspired by mid-century modern design using SketchUp and Layout Pro. In today's quick tip, we're going to apply a photographic image to a surface and in the process make ourselves a nice little electric conduction cooktop for a kitchen that we'll soon be working on. Thanks. So let's get started. I have here in the middle of the screen a 24 inch wide cabinet with a inset oven and a cooktop. <clears throat> it's an electric conduction cooktop and I had a 30 and a 36 inch but I didn't have a 24 so I made this up a few days ago and I thought I'd show you in this quick tip how I did this cooktop. Let's start by setting out a couple of guidelines to work with. So T for tape measure, click on some edges that uh, are orthogonal that I can copy from. R for rectangle, I'm just going to create a, a big surface here, bigger than I'm going to need. I'm not worried about the size. And I'll extrude it up a quarter of an inch, which will be the thickness of that nice glass plate cooktop. Last thing to do is turn it into a group. So I triple clicked on it and right click, make group. Now I'm going to go double click to enter into the group so I can edit it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, find a cooktop image photograph online from whoever is your favorite vendor. Uh, if you have a specific model, you can go to the manufacturer's website. But for this uh, simple item, I'm just happy to use a stock image. Um, this is Lowe's.com. They have a very easy to navigate website and lots of imagery. And I found this image of a 24 inch conduction cooktop, just what I needed. So I've already copied the image and saved it on my computer. And um, we're going to go down here and look at specifications. This gives us the size, the exact size. It is actual depth 20 and a half with 23 and a quarter. So we're going to make this exactly that size. So I'll start by pulling some guidelines, T for tape measure, 20 and a half, and then oh, click on the edge. 23 and a quarter. And then let's see, I'll use push pull. I have a choice of tools to use. I'll use push pull. P for push pull and it should snap to the lines there. Now control E gets rid of erases the guidelines which I don't need anymore. So now I have my plate which is going to become the uh, cooktop and I have it to the correct size. I have already saved the image. It's on my desktop so I am going to go to file import There's the cooktop. I'm using the image as a texture. So I've clicked that little radio button texture and import. And it's asking me where to put it. I'm going to put it on this surface. And then it's asking me to scale it, which at this point is not important. So just click on a spot nearby. And there's our cooktop image. Now we have a lot of white space around it, which was part of the image. I could have gone into Photoshop or some similar program and edited all that out, but I can also do it right here in SketchUp. So I'm going to right click on it while it's all still selected and choose position. As you can see, it's, and it's inserted as a kind of tile pattern. So if I were to expand my face that I'm applying this to, I would see multiple copies of it. However, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to take these four pins that are marking the corners and click on each one and then click on the corners to move each pin to the corner of what we want to keep. That's the four pins. Now let me adjust this one a little more carefully. Now I'll 
click and drag this over to the corner so it's nicely lined up in the bottom corner and I'll click on the green one to scale it. Each of these four pins does a bunch of different functions. The red and the green are the ones you use the most. Uh, the red um, is good for moving it around and the green is good for scaling and rotating. However, we don't want to rotate, we just want to scale. The yellow and the blue, they do various other things that I don't use very frequently. Now that we're done with that, we right click and click done. We have our cooktop on that plate. I could have done a little better job. I'm not going to go back and do it again. I've got a little bit of white stuff around the edge, so I could have put my pins a little more carefully. But I'll leave it like that for now. This is fine for demonstration purposes. So I see something else that needs to be done. I've got white edges. When I extruded that rectangle it, uh, and then applied the image, it only went onto the top surface. So I still need to paint that white edge that edge, that edge, and the other two. So I'll just use the paint bucket tool. That's B for paint bucket. And I'll pick a nice dark gray color rather than an image colors. Scroll down, the grays are at the bottom. I'll pick a nice dark gray. I'll do those two surfaces, see how they look. It looks fine. Rotate around to the back. And that is our cooktop. If I had been a little more careful with my pin placement, I could have avoided that little white strip. But for a purpose of demonstration, I think you got the message here. You see the one I did earlier where I was a little more careful. That, my fine feathered friends, is it. There's nothing on the bottom. I didn't bother to paint the bottom since we're not going to see it. But you've now got yourself a nice cooktop. You could, uh, it's, say, it's a group right now. If you look at Entity Info, if you thought you might be making multiple copies and uh, needing to change them all at the same time, you would save it as a component, but a group works perfectly fine. Thanks for joining me today for quick tips. In the next one, we'll make the kitchen cabinet to go with that cooktop using simple SketchUp tools and industry standard cabinet dimensions. Please take a moment to like, subscribe, and click on that little bell for notifications. And please do leave comments if you've got ideas, questions, or suggestions. Have a great day. Bye.